I have to show you guys how crunchy it was. One second. Hello, foodie fans. Today, we're gonna to be making a Mexican-inspired ground beef taco dish. These are the ingredients you're gonna need, which is some 80-20 ground beef. I have a pound here. You're gonna need salt and pepper. You're gonna need some uh, ground oregano. You're gonna need some granulated garlic and some granulated onion. Also, you're gonna need are some taco shells. So I have the uh, white ones here, the white corn. They also have them in yellow. I guess it's really your preference. I really don't know if there's really a difference, but I've always been using white, so. And you're gonna need some cheese and some lettuce. Also, you're gonna need some cooking oil. I got some canola oil here. And these are optional. I'm gonna do, you gotta make some beans with it, right? And I'm gonna make a quick uh, Spanish rice. You're gonna need a, a cup and a half of warm water so I'll get the warm water in here. And you're also gonna need two tablespoons of this. Tomato bouillon. Go ahead and get started on the ground beef. I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt. And I'm using the sea salt. Kind of some ground black pepper. Now, if I had to measure these out, it's probably a teaspoon each. And also, I'm gonna go very liberal on the, the granulated garlic. Just kind of get it nicely coated on top. And I probably wanna say it's a teaspoon and also the onion, granulated onion. About a teaspoon, yeah, about two, a ta tablespoon maybe. And some ground oregano. I'm just going very liberal on these seasonings here. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and we'll repeat the process. I got the hamburger mix. We're gonna go ahead and, and start patting our shells. So you wanna get one tortilla, corn tortilla, and you just wanna grab, you know, just a, a small ball of meat. It doesn't matter. You can go really heavy on the meat or light. There's really no consistency as far as, you know, patting it. I mean, I kind of went a little heavy on this one, but like I said, when you put it in the oil, it's gonna kind of shrink. So you gotta keep that in mind because it's the part of the fat, the 20% of fat that's gonna shrink. So. Kind of grab it. See, there's really no right or wrong. It's all going to shrink down anyway. So I just, and say if I just, I grabbed a lot, then I would just kind of take a little bit off. Let's see. So you just kind of want to keep going. I have about 12 here. So I'm going to go ahead and just repeat the process. Okay, so I have them all padded and laid out. Actually, I got like about 20, 20 shells out of these, out of that one pound of meat. So again, there's no right or wrong on the consistency of the, um, the ground beef. You know, you can make it as thick or as thin as you like. Um, I also did want to mention that um, you always kind of want to imagine that there's like a, a middle line here and you kind of want to stick to one side. Obviously that's going to be the, the fold. Right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on my shredding my uh, cheese and lettuce and we'll go ahead and get the oil started.
So I just did a rough chop of the lettuce and I shredded the cheese. So let's go ahead and get started on the oil. All right, first of so the oil, you're gonna just wanna get maybe about, roughly about two centimeters of oil. And that's good. This is a uh, 10 inch frying pan. So I have about, that's, that's roughly about two centimeters right there. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on on a medium high and you wanna get it to at least about 350. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a quick rice and this is totally optional. You wanna get two tablespoons of your tomato um, bouillon. And make sure that the water is warm so it, it kind of dissolves. And I have a cup and a half of water. Okay, so I'm getting ready to put the second one in there. Okay, then you want to give it a good stir. At this point, you could add some garlic and some onions into the juice right here, just for a little bit more flavor, but I'm just keeping it simple. So you kind of want to Keep stirring until it dissolves. All right, that's good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started on the, uh, on doing the rice. Okay, so I have a, just a cup of rice. I have uh, jasmine rice here and you can use whatever rice you like, but I, I like jasmine because it's, you know, a little bit more fragrant. And um, so I have the pot going. I just turned on the heat to like a medium. And I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, two, tables, two tablespoons of uh, canola oil. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and let that heat up. My oil is now warm. I can feel it. It's kind of bubbling a little bit, you can kind of see. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my rice and just gonna dump all of it in there. Now, at this point, you kind of wanna just stay here at least for four minutes and just keep whisking it like this. You wanna just keep uh, moving it around, because if you don't, it's gonna burn. So you just kind of want to keep, well, for about four minutes, until it gets uh, golden brown and it gets toasty. And you'll kind of see it, it'll turn, it'll turn like a light brown color. So you don't have to, you don't have to wash the rice. Um, I mean, you can if you want to, but why do an extra step? So I'm gonna go ahead and just sit right here for about four minutes and I'll be back. Okay, so it's been about four minutes now, and as you can see that the um, the rice is starting to get really light brown. And um, I didn't stop turning, because once you stop, it's gonna burn. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and add the, um, the water. So it's gonna be like a little steam coming out. And we're gonna go ahead and mix that in there. So I have just a cup of rice. I mean, if you want more rice, you can just double the recipe. Pretty simple. And um, like I said, if you wanna add your garlic and onions, you can. A little bit more flavor if you like. Some lime juice, I don't know, get really creative. Now we're just gonna go ahead and um, give it a good stir. And then now we're gonna cover it. We're gonna lower the heat. And we're just gonna let it do its thing for about 10 minutes. So I went ahead and just opened my can of beans and just threw that in there. Um, we're just gonna warm that up basically. Okay, so I also forgot that you wanna have like a bowl or something to catch the tacos. And I, I just lined it with some paper towels to catch the grease. Okay, so my oil is at temperature. I mean, you can kind of just feel it. And now we're just gonna go ahead and you wanna grab one end with the tongs on the tortilla and kind of just gently put the hamburger side down into the, the oil. And then so once you kind of dunk it all in there, it makes it uh, easy to fold over just like that. Now you want to repeat the process. It takes some practice, but I've been doing it for a while. Get a little fold over. Oops. Hold on. 
Okay. Notice that it's kind of browning the meat and it's cooking the shell. Now you kind of just want to, you're going to kind of like flip this over every now and then. So let's go ahead and just let it cook for a minute. Okay, so I just did a flip. I kind of just want to monitor them. Because it will cook fast. So I'm going to get ready to cook again. So, it's pretty easy. And you kind of notice when they're, they're done is that they'll start to brown up on top. And the meat really kind of just cooks pretty fast because the oil is hot. And that's pretty much it. Then you just kind of want to re repeat the process for the other ones until uh, all your tacos are done. I just keep you know, pushing them down, pushing them down. So these are done. So you just kind of want to grab one in, kind of let it drain a little bit, and just put it in the, uh, the bowl. And do the same thing with this one. Let it drain off of one side. And then just repeat the process. Grab your shovel. the folds, then the middle one, that easy, and you want to go ahead and just um, cook it for a little bit and then flip it over and flip it over again. So I'm going to check on my rice, and that's done, it's been about nine minutes. You can kind of see that the uh, all the moisture is out and it's dry. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it. So that was just one cup of rice. I'm ready to put the last two tacos in there. You always want to be careful. You know, you don't want to burn yourself. So. And I've been standing here for like the past 10 minutes. And you can kind of see that the oil is starting to get a little dirty. I mean, I have about 20 tacos there, so I only wanted to make 12, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to put the meat away, so you can make as much as you want. The tacos are done. Notice how I put them up at a, like at, a, at an angle, pointing it up so that the drain the uh, the grease drains downwards. Because nobody likes a soggy taco. So let's go ahead and plate these, and we'll get to eat. Okay, so this is the end result. I got these um, taco placeholders from Amazon. So just kind of just hold your taco while you're putting your toppies in there. So I just put cheese and lettuce and you want to grab your favorite hot sauce. And uh, yeah, that's it. Pretty much uh, pretty easy. You know, the whole total cook time was about 30 minutes, give or take. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching the video. And if you have any questions, please throw them in the comment area and uh want to say have a good night and i'll see you guys on the next video